This video is brought to you by NCIX.com. Great technology, selection, and service. You know, Richard, we've been, uh, we've been talking about a, a new era in, uh, in PC Gamer, and I'm really excited to be here today because I'm about to unveil the coolest, the coolest, most exciting PC that we've ever made at AMD. I challenged AMD's engineering team. I said, look, give me all the performance that you get in a desktop tower PC, but put it in something small and compact and beautiful, something that I can put in my living room, Project Quantum. AMD's Project Quantum is an exciting direction for high performance living room gaming that takes a step further, not only for hardware, but with an important element, uh, design element underlying the entire project. Reminding users about the potential of changing how we think about PC towers and gaming builds in general, thanks to high bandwidth memory or HBM. And Project Quantum, in my opinion, is one of the most unique and coolest builds of uh, 2015. This is a proof of concept designed to show off the potential of their new Fiji HBM GPUs, where the memory is actually literally stacked on top of each other uh, on the actual die of the GPU. And the Quantum will feature two R9 Fiji GPUs, packing incredible performance with up to 17 teraflops of compute performance in this relatively compact form factor. Thanks to the significant board size reductions made possible with HPM, you are looking at a multi-GPU powerhouse, something that would not have been totally possible without HPM. And for size comparison, here's a Fury card on top, next to the R9 290X at the bottom, and AMD has been able to reduce the board size up to 65%, and that's what Project Quantum is there to really emphasize. Full specs of the PC are not fully revealed, but it will feature an Intel i7 processor, and we are told maybe a full AMD system in there as well. What we recommended for AMD is maybe a DIY route for the quantum machine where users may have the option to configure their hardware or you'll just have to buy sort of this base configuration and populate your own processor, your RAM and the drives. But that's a little further down into the future, so let's check out what makes this PC so special. Well, aside from housing dual R9 Fiji's in there, this unique shape allows proper compartment separation with all the hardware in the bottom chamber and the cooling system in the top chamber with proper ventilation and really cool looking design top panel. So Project Quantum is a fully liquid cooled PC with a large square radiator in the top section. Unfortunately, we didn't get to see inside the machine, but from this internal schematic, it looks really clean, allowing the PC to remain completely silent and cool as the massive exhaust fan should do an adequate job with cooling. What we did not see on the show floor was the external power supply, as the single Fiji GPU is is rated at 275 watts TDP and having the power unit outside the main machine obviously compresses the size of the chassis and I personally don't mind this solution. So this has been AMD's Project Quantum, a unique way to emphasize GPU board size reduction thanks to HPM and how it will fundamentally change the small form factor PC moving forward. But what do you think of the design? And make sure to subscribe because we have reviews of all the new cards that were just announced coming shortly. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.